Here are five tips for ready or not and stick around for some Easter eggs at the end. Tip one, can't find the last suspect or civilian? Then spam the F key. Police, get down. This will allow for them to hear you and often trigger dialogue. If you follow the direction of the audio you hear, it will lead you to their location. This will save you a huge amount of time and frustration when hunting down the last culprits of the level. Tip number two, don't know where your teammates are? Then use the teammate body cam. If your team is not communicating with you via voice or the text channel, you can figure out where they are by pressing T. This brings up a small video feed in your top right hand corner. It gives you a view of your teammates body cam and their current health. This makes locating where they are on the map and if they are even alive a lot easier. Dead teammates will show a damaged video feed and a heartbeat sound when cycling through their feeds, which you can do by lightly pressing T. It may hurt your frame rate depending on your current gaming rig. So if you're still on the entry level machine, I suggest only using it temporarily before closing it out. Tip number three, mirror guns allow you to look around corners. Don't just use it on doors. While this may be listed on the description of the equipment, you will rarely see players utilizing it for this purpose. If you're unsure about what is lingering around the corner, use the mirror. You may find that there's a group of contacts just there waiting for you quietly that you didn't hear before. Now gifting you with the element of surprise with flashbangs or stingers. This piece of equipment can save your team's life and is a huge tactical edge. Tip number four, your teammate can't hear you? Hit L to switch to team chat. For the sake of communication and keeping your teammates in constant contact, please be aware there are two voice channel options, local and team. Pressing L will allow you to see what channel you and your teammates are on. Local allows you to talk to people that are beside you, while team allows for you to talk to people even across the map. If you don't have a great mic or a clear microphone, do yourself a favor and always be on team chat. You'd be surprised how few people are aware of this one. Tip number five, can't seem to get a good mission rating? Less than lethal runs will give you a better rating and honestly are more fun. I get it, you wanna kick some ass and take out the bad guys in your SWAT simulator. However, the amount of hilarious situations and fun you can have by utilizing the less than lethal weapons is insane. Watching your teammate pepper spray someone, or even better, multiple people at the same time, is hilarious. Not only does it make your playthroughs more challenging, but it makes them far more memorable. The higher ratings at the end for not taking any lives will help you earn some bragging rights among your friends too. Since you stuck around this long, here's a bonus fun piece of information for you. There are Easter eggs hidden in the lobby to keep you entertained. If you're bored waiting for a match to start or another player to finish their loadout, explore the lobby a bit. There are some entertaining voicemails on the desk that you can find and activate by walking up to them and pressing F. Fuck me dead, your facility is older than the fucking Bible. Gonna take a bit of dosh to fix this one. Not a hard yak ahead. You can also grab yourself a cup of your favorite beverage of choice with the vending machine. However, it will only give you a single sip before it disappears. So much for your 75 cents. Also, don't let the chief know that he left his hat at the end of the training course, because you are the boss now. I personally love small bits of character like this being implemented into games, and I hope they continue to add more. If you want to learn more about this game, check out the What is Ready or Not video that will be released next week on Friday. I will go in depth on everything this title has to offer you. Or if you're in the future, click on the video see in front of you right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the comments below. Later guys!